everyone, welcome back to the channel. Ben here, you're watching Time on Feet. It's week eight of North Downs Way 50 training. And in today's video, I'm gonna think a little bit about what I've been doing for my recovery week this week, after last week's race. And also just a few race reflections on how last week's Endurance Life Ultra went. <laughs> So that was Preston Park Park Run yesterday. There was actually a lot of signs around about Brighton Marathon taking place in a couple of weeks. So they're starting to set up for that. Uh, so best of luck to everyone who's taking part in either the, the marathon or the 10K that's happening that day. I know a couple of people who follow the channel are doing that. Um, I'm not actually around that weekend, otherwise it'd be good to go along and cheer everyone on. Uh, but we're gonna be away in Norfolk that weekend. So gonna be on a, on a boat in Norfolk for a week. Um, which actually it might be rather tricky to try and find uh, elevation. If anyone's been to Norfolk, as you probably know, it's one of the flattest places in the UK. So to try and get the hills in that week might be rather difficult. So that was Preston Park Run yesterday. Uh, Preston Park Park Run rather. Preston Park Run's a different one, that's up north. So Preston Park Park Run we did yesterday and that was my first run of this week. Uh, so I'd had six days off in total from running after last week's Endurance Life Ultra and I have been doing other things this week, so although I haven't been running, uh, I have been trying to you know, get the body used to moving again and to get the blood flowing. So I've done a couple of sea swims, uh, which are rather cold actually, 8.7 degrees, and it's a bit of a shock to the system after not being in, in the sea for four or five months. Uh, but that was really nice to, to get out there again. So a couple of sea swims, I did a cycle as well, so just a gentle cycle along the seafront. And other than that, I've been doing my typical kind of recovery stuff that I always do. So elevation, uh, using a foam um, roller, uh, using a massage ball on the bottoms of my feet, uh, doing kind of Achilles massages, uh, and otherwise just trying to eat well, rest well, uh, and then be ready for, for next week when I'm gonna get back into the training again. So that's what this week's been like, so mainly a recovery week. The other thing I wanted to do here was just to reflect on the Endurance Life Ultra last week and just think about a couple of key uh, lessons or, uh, or positive takeaways that I'd, I'd take from it. Uh, like I said in last week's video, overall it went really well, I was very happy with it. Uh, but a couple of things in particular I wanted to, to pick out. The, the first thing was just to think about nutrition, which was something that actually went really well. It hasn't always gone well for me in the past with nutrition, but it seemed to, to go pretty well. Um, I Overall, I was kind of trying to calculate how much I'd drank and the things that I'd eaten over the course of the race. And it was, I think, 2.5, yeah, 2.5 litres of liquid in total. So I, I started off at the beginning with my two flasks fully loaded so I had two 500 mil flasks uh, and in that I had some active root so one which was like an, an energy uh, active root sachet and the other one which was an electrolytes so over the course of the whole race I had three flasks full so three 500 milliliter flasks full of the energy stuff and then two flasks full of the electrolyte and one of the things I was really pleased with last week, which kind of relates to um, nutrition and kind of refilling, uh, was that I only spent four and a half minutes or so standing still. So I, I typically, with races, I typically try to say I don't want to uh, be standing still for any more than about eight or nine minutes. But last week it went really well. I only stopped at two of the five aid stations. Uh, which is something to, to bear in mind really, you know, it's not that if there's five aid stations you have to stop at all of them, you just need to stop at the ones that you need to. So last week I was very much thinking about that. So I didn't stop at the first aid, aid station, stopped at the second one, refilled both of my bottles, uh, and then I stopped at the fourth one as well to refill my bottles again. So it was those two times when I was uh, refilling, and then the only other time I stopped was to stretch out my back. I think that was about maybe 27 miles in, uh, but I was starting to just feel it a bit in my back, probably from all the elevation, so it was 
uh, a lot of elevation, um, more than I'm, I'm used to with the 5,000 feet or so. So at one point I just thought I need to stretch out my back, make it feel a bit better. So I stopped for about 30 seconds or so probably, just in the middle of the route uh, and just stretched out my back on the floor for a bit and then got going again and it was much better. So that I was very happy with. Uh, and in terms of what I actually ate on the route, so I had, I think it was a couple of packets of cliff blocks in total. So there were six cliff blocks in a packet and I think I had uh, almost two packets. I started eating from about uh, an hour in and then I'd have something every half an hour. Uh, I had a Lucho Delito as well, so I split that into two. So that was so one of my uh, half an hour snacks was half of it, and then another half an hour snack was another one. And then I ate a Trek bar as well, so like a chocolate flapjack. Uh, so that was all I, I had over the course of the, the five hours, 18 minutes. Uh, but it went well, settled in the stomach nicely, so no issues there. Um, and, and I managed to, uh, to get the end, in the, to the end in a, a time that I was happy with, which is really good. So the pinch points, the, the bits of the, the run that the most difficult um, was probably at 27 miles. Uh, so for anyone who's seen the video last week, you saw that there was that massive hill at 27 miles. So that was a really difficult one. And then also between miles 30 and 32, there was like a, a gradual incline so that all of those two miles were, were going uphill. Um, and, and that I was doing a lot of run walking. So walking for a couple of minutes and then running for a couple of minutes. And I just had to use various things to try and mo motivate me there to break it up. So, so the whole run walk thing, so, you know, saying to myself, right, you can run for two minutes and then you get a break of a minute or two. And I was dividing it up in different ways, depending on how I was feeling. Uh, but in that period, I also used the, the motivator of getting a, a 50k PB as well. So I was thinking to myself, I could get sub five hours for a PB on the watch. Uh, so I was trying to use that as well. So those are the main things really um, and I think in terms of takeaways from my training uh, although I was happy that I didn't cramp up early so I also had salt sticks earlier on in, in this race in comparison to the Hurtwood 50k I did last year when I was cramping up very early from about 18 miles um, but I was still cramping up in the last couple of miles and I think it was probably the elevation for me and trying to push over the, the elevation. Uh, so I think in my training in the next seven uh, weeks, I'm going to try and have more elevation in there. Uh, you know, I was looking back at my, my training in the first seven weeks of uh, of the North Downs Way 50 training, and there's been you know a fair bit of elevation in there. So generally, kind of three, four thousand. I think one week I did five thousand feet of elevation, but not getting the consistent elevation that there will be in the North Downs Way 50, which is about five thousand six hundred feet of elevation. So that's something I'm wanting to do more. Try and have more consistent elevation in there, uh, and I'm hoping that by having that, I'll be less likely to cramp up. Uh, with the elevation of the North Downs Way 50. Saying that, I mentioned earlier on, uh, in a couple of weeks time I'm going to Norfolk, which isn't hilly at all, so trying to find some hills there is gonna be rather difficult. Um, so that that's one thing to, to try and think about, uh, you know, how I'm gonna navigate that, maybe have a bit more elevation in the, in the week before or, or in the days leading up to it. So that's all from me today. Uh, have a good week, folks. Enjoy your running and I'll see you all next week.